Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tidy Weiss Show! Yay! <laughs> oh, Tom, how did you enjoy the last episode? Tiny Weiss is adorable and I want a hundred of them. <laughs> yeah. There were a hundred uh, of them. There uh, were some fans of the comics screaming that everyone's getting hyped about Tiny Weiss when the comics apparently had Tiny Weiss years ago. Oh, but, did they? Uh, yeah, the, apparently. The, 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 comic, the comics that were not canon until they were, whatever the hell the... the I mean, I don't was. know, because, like, there's, like, there's the anthology manga, there's the quote-unquote oh, canon yeah. until it's not manga, there's, like, there's the DC comics, there's there's, there's the a DC lot of Justice for... League comics. There's a lot of comics for Ruby, and I don't like any of them other than, like, some of the likes art. any of them. <laughs> I saw an edit, I think it was actually lightning in my hand, but like it was the funniest thing. It was like Raven is a bird, uh, screaming. At yes! Ruby. Oh my god! Yeah, like, the, it was. It was the bird. Raven. It was like the dumbest fucking thing. That's the one yeah. Ruby comic I have actually seen. It was so yeah. like actually clarification. I I think some of the Ruby mangas have some excellent artists. Now that I think about it, so I, I'm I'm this, gonna I don't know pull I, back a little bit on that statement. Yeah, the manga no, I, artists I think are pretty good. I don't think this is the manga. I think this is the full on comics. Oh yeah, no, the um, DC comics. I remember that. That was where the Raven Bird thing happened. Yeah. And oh, like, that, oh, that was oh, I, yeah, I just saw Raven I, literally appeared as a bird and just started insulting Summer to Ruby's yeah. face. Yeah, just, just oh, that I was know, real. Starts... That wasn't an edit. No, That's that was real. real. That, that was, was real. real. Oh my god, I thought I thought it was an edit. <laughs> somebody was somebody oh. was paid money to make that. Presumably not Monopoly money. <laughs> like, but like also actual money. Was paid money to steal weapons because apparently they hadn't seen the show and thought Glinda had a gun so they <laughs> oh, they no. looked up ruby gun weapon and then just copied a the random one that happened to be an original creation it was and then like they had to go back and revise it to put her crop back in but you can still tell she's supposed to be holding a gun by the way her hand is shaped <laughs> oh, it's, it's just that like image uh, uh you know that png of the guy holding the gun <laughs> good morning say it back <laughs> yeah the comics were were an interesting controversy to say the least there were, there were some weird choices made with the dc comics that no one liked do you know what Weiss tried, tried to fuck batman weird. yes that's yeah, the one where uh, Weiss tried to batman and batman. cyborg i believe Oh well. Oh Jesus! I, I mean, you can't fuck batman without cyborg <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, you know, and, then, and then like Robin you know shows up and he's like, hey, hey, and then he like, you know, what, as walks you know, as long as as long as the movie doesn't bring that shit back, I will at least tolerate its existence. No, well, the movie has to be the... exclusively that. No fights, <laughs> yeah. no bad guys, no. just it's high it's school drama between. I don't even Batman, know who the bad guy is Cyborg in the comic. <laughs> who is the uh, who was the bad guy in the comic? I don't know who the bad guy in the comic was. I mean, watch it be like Lex Luthor who teams up with Jock Schnee or something like that. Yeah, I, um, yes, because that's what every fan wanted to see Yang punch out Lex Luthor in the suit, yeah, no less. I, I was going to say, like, you know, you get, I guess if they haven't had Doomsday, like, there's a lot of options there. What I'm wondering is, like, is it going to be more of a continuation of the comic where it's like, no, it's, it's, already it's, a, established? it's a completely new story. Well, no, what I'm saying, though, is that, like, cause I know it's not recapping the comics it's not doing the comics again what i'm saying is is it presuming that that like the comics happened and it's just a new story because i know the comics ended with like the jla satellite i think if if i recall is the its own can of worms in ruby <laughs> if i recall the rtx panel correctly they said it was it had absolutely nothing to do whatsoever with the comic fantastic it was its own it was its own individual thing i mean they might as well say that about every ruby thing <laughs> they might as well be like, ah, now introducing volume nine. Don't worry, it has nothing to do with the previous eight volumes. <laughs> like, that's actually kind of an interesting premise. It's sort of like, um, oh, oh, what is it? Uh, American Horror Story, where it's like every season is its own unique thing. Well, yes, but like, that's on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, no, what I'm saying is, like, if they had leaned into that and made that on purpose, that Ruby is just, like, it's a series that constantly is retold in different weird ways. Yeah, then Ruby and, Amer actually be kinda then Ruby and American Horror Story could have two things in common. They'd both be anthology seasons every season, and they would both be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen American I, Horror I, Story. I watched, the first se for it. I watched the first season, absolutely despised it, and never touched it again. Uh, I hear that a lot of people don't like the first 
the first or second season, I think it is, but I hear like the third, fourth, and fifth. I've heard that as well, but I just got burned so bad on that first season that I haven't been willing to go back and check it out. I always It never seemed like a show that I wanted to look at. I into. always wonder about that because like, you know, if the first season is bad, then only the fans continue watching. So I don't really I don't know. I don't I like I say I don't really believe it gets better over time, but then you look at like Star Trek and you're like, oh, oh wait, it actually does. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the problem I had with advice. American Horror Story was that it was not it wasn't so much horror as it was just shock value, and I can't stand shock value. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I need I need sense. like I need genuine horror. Well, you didn't even like, like Hell of a Boss, so. <laughs> Like you don't you don't I, I, you don't like a well, lot actually, of edgy stuff. Whoa, 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 pump the brakes because I I've turned around on Hell of a Boss because Hell of a Boss is a genuinely fun show. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I do I I mean at the when I first watched it I remember thinking yeah this is kind of like the, the stuff I would have been into in high school. Uh, <laughs> the show has grown on me. I I can say that. Nice, um, nice. So. Yeah, I, I can enjoy it. It's weird stuff. because, like, I'm kind of, I'm not really the opposite because I don't hate it or anything. It's just like, I was like, like, oh, man, this is really good. In fact, I like this better than, than uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Has Been Hotel. But it's like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, I can't wait for the next episode. The next episode came out, and I'm just like, uh, yeah, I'll watch that later. Yeah, <laughs> I just I th- haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, Hell of a Boss I enjoy, I definitely enjoy more than Has Been. It, it, what... Has been is has been still in development hell or is it has it like aired yet like it hasn't what, what's going it hasn't on with... aired yet but there uh, like there was a little bit of development hell because it got picked up by a twenty four and as such a lot of the actors had to be recast because like they weren't SAG after so wait 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 H- a two four picked it up yeah oh no <laughs> uh <laughs> what, you oh, don't no. like a twenty a two four. <laughs> the only film of theirs that I have enjoyed was X. And that came out this year. <laughs> like I the the witch disappointed me thoroughly. Midsummer I drove me crazy with how with how much I with how much I had issues with that film. Fucking uh Swiss Army Man was a drug trip of the worst <laughs> Wait, caliber. Midsummer, the horror film. Midsummer, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I, I look. You witness. All right. Here, here's my. And this comes back to like horror movie logic. If you literally witness a murder suicide, why the fuck would you stay? <laughs> that like at that point, pack up and leave. Get out of there. Well, what, what if the it's rent controlled? <laughs> 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 that's a good question um I, I i mean i i only know it through the kill count um i mean so it's got I, you it's got some unique kills i i, I do admit that but like it, it, I just, it has an interesting thematic premise but I, I i agree that like after you see that i would probably i would get out of there i would get the fuck well, out of there i'd take I the next one cat character out. tries to get out of there doesn't don't they and then like uh, they just vanish and then well, appear like their corpse shows up later because they got killed something like, they, they like that um like one person was sensible, and that one sensible person got the fuck yeah. killed out of them. <laughs> they they should have all gone. It's like they can't kill all of us, and except they did, but that's because they stayed. Why can't uh, they kill all of oh us? Oh my god, we are at the fifteen minute mark, guys. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. All right. Okay. Um, all right. So let's actually get thoughts on the last episode, other than Tiny Weiss is adorable. Right, Tiny Weiss. I think uh, there is more to say about that. Uh, John is a weird one step forward, one step backward. Cause like it does like the the goofiness, but then there was that moment where we're talking to the door, and he got like weirdly serious, and I'm like, whoa, okay, Jean. Show well, I think that, he got show insulted. That, the show door that insulted door. Him. I know, but like the He's... tone of voice, I was like, all right, John, show that door what's boss. Oh. Um, and then he Did you got like in... his disappearing sword. Yeah, the sword was weird, and then the, him being in the jail, so I was like, oh, I never want to leave now. I'm like, no, 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 you have a mission. <laughs> um, uh. I feel I like that we've broken the chain uh, that with like the, the time loop that we've been in with this dream. Um, uh, let's see what else. Um, yeah, t- Tiny Weiss and ne- the zombie thing at the end was weird. Yeah, the uh, zombie thing. You mean Big uh, Nicholas? <laughs> well, Big Nicholas. Well, I meant like like Nora and Ren. And yeah, the, that was the so weird that Piro wasn't right. affected because Jean was like, <laughs> yeah, why wasn't Piro fighting her? Yeah, that was. Uh, people theorize that that 
Weiss actually sees Pira as another version of herself. Not right, an I remember that from entity. the other episode, yeah. yeah so, like, the, like that. the argument there is that, like, it's more that Pira is just another person. Like, she's not... She's more like an independent... Mm. But then, okay. like, why was she locked up with all the sillies, you know? <laughs> That's... Well, yeah... It, it, She's seen as like the kindness that Weiss has. That's like it, that's sort of what she's supposed to be, I suppose. Uh, like that's the theory. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I guess I, you know, I don't want to shit on anybody's theory. Uh, remember when <laughs> um, Mercury was actually Ozpin from the future? <laughs> Very vaguely, and I never yeah, want to remember they, it ever like again. It, it rings a bell, but that's about all it does for me. <laughs> all right, well let's let's see if there's any weight to any of that. Here we go. Three. Two, one, go! <laughs> Not with that face, you don't. Uh, you need to lose a few pounds, giant baby Weiss. <laughs> giant baby on Atkins. Oh, oh, they, oh, what's the animation? I what was just about to say. There. I was just about to say. Uh, I feel like that was smoother in the last episode, but like they slowed it down here to stretch it out. I've seen worse, like in, I've seen worse in the yeah. Ugh. Like I, I I mean it's really weird that you would take Ruby, like something that that's popularity comes from like fancy, highly animated fight scenes, and then animate it this badly. Like, they really just <laughs> saw ice. these characters, and, and they were like, yeah, no, I want to do that, except without the production value. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're basically spending the first, what, uh, like two minutes, minutes of this episode <laughs> wasting time recapping the last one? Oh, no, one? it's Colindor! Yeah. <laughs> is that another fucking Wheel of Time? Of course it is! <laughs> How many of those you got? Dude, it's 15 books. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no, he shattered. She shattered the Elden Ring. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh God. God. Now we, it's Spider Reckless. showing up. This reminds me of something, but for the life of me, I can't remember. It's not like a horror game, but for the life of me, I can't remember which one. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus? Close enough? Maybe. Not quite, but maybe. It's the arms. The arms are what's getting me. Uh, oh, uh, Evil Within? Oh, maybe, yeah. Huh. Hey, excuse you, Weiss. Big Mikolas. <laughs> Get it right. Judgment? Y you mean the, the Yakuza right. prequel? <laughs> Who, who's waiting for the uh, big Mechalus uh, JoJo reference where he goes, order, 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 order? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting for the big Milfilus that goes, ara, ara, ara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get inside to the uh, chamber room where uh, Willow Shadow is. <laughs> but yeah, if I don't see Yang, ora, 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 uh, com competing with big Mechalus, I'm gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I, I would like to see that. That's that's an inappropriate shoulder touch. <laughs> Attack on Weiss. Oh no! Oh uh, no! <laughs> um. Various Weisses getting absorbed. <laughs> no! Oh my! What the hell was that? That what was that animation, Mister? Jacques snatch you. <laughs> um, this is excellent. Like I love this nightmare imagery. Uh, this is like what Weiss is afraid of, and this is Weiss trying to like take back control of her image. Is he gonna try to bring Dream Pira out? <laughs> The dream is out of control. <laughs> oh, there we go. What you... <laughs> and, 
and meanwhile in the real in the meal world she was just like ah, about as expected and <laughs> you know i would have warned you about it but i thought this would be funnier yeah <laughs> oh it's a i i got a comment on the video um where some where somebody was criticizing us for using male pronouns for Xion, even though we looked it up. But apparently in the in the English dub, Xion uses they them pronouns. So Rooster Teeth like loses a lot of points <laughs> for letting the dub uh like cut one of their non-binary characters. And now I'm actually interested to look up the um that episode of volume 7 with with May and see if yeah. that's also been censored in the Japanese dub. Have they dubbed volume 8 yet? I don't know. It, they they were planning on it. I know they announced it, but I don't know if they've gotten around to yeah, it. Yeah. But and, and you know, with everything going on with Warner right now, um, oh, I'm Jesus. looking at Rooster Teeth and pulling my collar right now. Like, yeah, it's, like they have gutted Cartoon Network. I know. Well, it's, it, well, it's not Warner's fault; it's Discovery's fault. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like it, it's Warner Media. Now. I know. There's yeah. all, the only legal way to watch um, Infinity Train is on Dashi Lee's Patreon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eliminate her. This goes back to like what you guys are trying to push her to change. Like, what if she doesn't want to change? I, mean, I thought they were just like, trying to kill the nightmare so she could wake up. But then they're like, well, no, 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 we're gonna make her not racist anymore. We're gonna fix her. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh no! Oh. oh no! Oh, all right, all right. That's not as horrible as I thought it would be. That's still pretty bad. Oh. I, 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 I was hoping for something a little more body horror, but you know. <laughs> they can bounce. They're so cute. They're like little gerbils. <laughs> it's Lolly Be Gone. <laughs> maybe, maybe don't run at the guy that just cut your boyfriend in half. <laughs> Talking is a free action. Who, who will remain pure? Herself or them? Her, the sillies. Or, uh, you're I right, am, I'm not sure, actually. Yeah. I am genuinely curious how the dub for this is going to turn out. Punch it! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's definitely better than hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> does, wait, does she not know that Weiss has siblings? Not this point, I, I no. wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't know. No, I mean we did. I mean, shit. None of us <laughs> knew about Whitley until Volume Four. <laughs> I, I I always wanted bunk beds for literally no reason. <laughs> well, she we knew that she had an older sister. We knew we knew about Winner. We had no idea about Whitley. Well, we had we knew about Winner at, in Volume Three, Two. No, Volume Two, Volume Two. Yeah, Winter was we mentioned for the first time in Volume Two. But weirdly enough, Winter, I like, I bought. Like, like, oh, she has an older, she has a sister. Okay, that makes sense. Then Whitley shows up. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? There's, There's another, another one. Another one. Parents have sex. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was more like, how do we? It was more like, well, at this point, how do, how do you not mention a, a, a second, another sibling? Because he's, a, I mean, and in he's fairness, a shit. <laughs> if I knew about, if I knew about Jock and Willow, I'd be questioning. Wait, they have sex? <laughs> that has to be one of the worst hate fucks in history. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, it, it's, it is, Will is probably Ironwood's kid. <laughs> I mean, nah, nah, he bears too much of a Jacques resemblance. I was gonna say, it, I think it's the other way around. It, it, if anything, I would think either Winter or Weiss would be Ironwood's kid. <sighs> uh, Winter, maybe. I, I think Whitley would be the one that uh, Jock made sure was his. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's, because the boy of the family, yeah. The male heir and all that. I don't know if that really plays in, into it. It's more just like I, I, I want one child, damn it. <laughs> I I need an actual heir. <laughs> Get wrecked. It is is the door? Oh no, he took his shield. 
<laughs> I thought the door yeah, would still ass. be propped open. No, see, that's what he should have done with the big sword. He should have propped open the door with the big sword instead of just having it stop existing in the middle of last episode. Uh-oh. Dopey Klein isn't here anymore. It's Horny Klein now. <laughs> what is that walk cycle? That looks weird. Go, 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 go. 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 You suddenly the back. main theme song to uh, Samurai Flamenco? <laughs> God, that was an anime that exists. It was great. It was, uh, it was, I was loved John it? from uh, Melancholy and, and his voice actor. Oh. <laughs> I'd never heard of that one. I, for, uh, when I when you said it, I was I, my me thought was you mean samurai shampoo? What? <laughs> no! no! <laughs> Tiny why? <laughs> we're not we're not gonna turn around and go back. Okay. <laughs> Oh god, we're about to see a bunch of tiny Weisses get murdered like a one by row one. Of ducks. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is like a middle finger to everyone who loved the little Weisses last episode. And we get to watch them all die horribly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is still there. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, because you couldn't get it out. Uh. People were theorizing the reason he has two sets of weapons is because, like, he was in a nightmare before, but I'm just, like, that stretching it. Like, whatever. Like, hey, if you can rationalize it, go go off. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Do you know how much that cost? <laughs> Apple Care's gonna have, have my knees arrested! <laughs> She isn't! She- they were right! She did get infected! Hmm. They are gonna have to save Ruby! Oh, fuck. Alright, worst case scenario, it's gonna be like the last episode she falls under, and they, like, save her instantly. <laughs> oh, I would hate that. Well, Ruby would be easier to save than Weiss, I think. Her clothes are here! That must mean... she's naked. <laughs> or maybe, maybe they do break through this episode. Oh. I have led her to my sex dungeon. <laughs> I will not wait. <laughs> that was kind of goofy. I don't know why. Something about the animation speed there was weird. Was Weiss not parented to the floor in that quick pan? Uh, I'd have to go back and look again. It looked like she was. It looked like she was that's in volume... there at the wrong frame rate. <laughs> that, that's her. That's her volume four outfit. Oh Isn't my it? god! They're using portals to their advantage. <laughs> what is you, dumb bitch? <laughs> Oh, she is infected. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, yes, my little pony. <laughs> uh oh. Well, Weiss is dead. Yeah, you cut your losses. Yeah. She's sucking me off! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Crazy! <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, uh, wait. There were rose petals that flew. Did that have any? Did oh, she no, use her semblance? Like... So I, another I, theory, I... another theory that was that was foisted, was that the black relic is actually under the signposts on the outskirts. Of oh, town. she did use her semblance. Okay. How did you get out? Oh, that's right, the door. Right. Wait. wait how did you get away from the train? Yeah. <laughs> Silly's on the train. I feel like that may make a little good story. Silly's on the train. 
Yeah. An audiobook by Miles. <laughs> I've had it with these motherfucking sillies on this motherfucking <laughs> train. <laughs> oh, kitty cat. It's a haunted we're house. We're go back to the start for our fourth okay, time. Okay, maybe this is where the black relic is. Oh! I can't believe that they didn't make a chain of hair braiding with all the tiny Weisses. Oh my god, they should have done that. Uh. <laughs> and do our hair! You can't become an adult if you cling your childhood emotions. Uh, I beg to differ, sir. Well, it's a little late for that now. <laughs> Me? I'm a fucking sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what is the perspective on... Oh, this is weird. Are they trying to do a fisheye lens thing? I mean, I think it's just trying to, like, parallax scroll on Weiss on the floor. Like, I... I get it. Oh. Tiny... Tiny Weiss, uh -oh. hug her. Hey Ruby, maybe tell him you're infected. She's, she's like that. Literally bit by a zombie what? and doesn't tell the party. I mean, yes. Yes, it is. It absolutely. Is. Oh wait, is she going to go into a dream inside a dream? <laughs> we really are inceptioning this shit. Uh. Dude, if this, like, if they just, like, cut all pretense and ends on, like, a bad ending, I'd actually be kind of down for that. Wow, they really, they really don't like Jehovah's Witnesses here. <laughs> you put the bashful one in charge of that? No, it's just people that have their heads cut off by the, by the frame perspective. Uh, you I mean you get a mansion <laughs> yeah, Lincoln Park starts saying playing oh wow oh shit all right that's bad man Weiss really needs a gardener lab coat rip off Doctor Strange <laughs> Oh, great, now it's broken. <laughs> Alright. There, there's Big Milholis for you. <laughs> you know what's twisted about this? This actually might work out in canon, ultimately, because it explains why Weiss had the radical personality shift between <laughs> volumes yeah. 1 and 2. Also, I, I like the, oh my God, they're trying the Snow to White reference there. Canon, those monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I mean, shit. I do like this. I like the Snow White reference there, but the apple. Is she giving up on life? Oh. Is she alone? Wait, what? Is this what happens when you dr go into the dream and the dr she's yeah she's alone? So I think she woke up in a dream in a dream. Yeah. So is she in limbo? This looks like limbo. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations. Uh... <laughs> Wait. Because you were in the negative world, <laughs> is it, like, the opposite? Like, it's a negative inside a negative, so it's a positive? It's like a dream? <laughs> oh, God, it is. Congratulations. <laughs> Whoa, what's the shading there? I know. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I was waiting for Zwei to be clapping, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Congratulations, 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 congratulations. Oh god, it's April over again. Congratulations. Uh, 
Wait, wait, we need big Mechalus here. Well, this will make the thumbnail easy, at least. <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, I thought they were, like, corpses, which would have been more hardcore. I thought it was just, like, their, their weapons but left behind or something. Oh, wait, shit. I've seen the Evil Dead. We don't want to go here, guys. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Uh, All right. Uh, well. Holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. God, why did the first, like, six episodes have to suck so bad? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, they did episode four, and then they just did episode four again, but with Weiss and Blake. and or, I mean, Yang and Blake. Uh, and then they did the episode five, but just again, but with even more Weiss and Blake. <laughs> and then we started getting good shit. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is probably some of the best Ruby content. Yeah, I some think, of yeah. I, to, in the totality, the to totality of all of Ruby, this is this is some pretty good shit right now. These last two episodes, so, certainly. Yeah. So what are we running in like? This is not going... I'll give it this. It's throwing curveballs. Like, I thought it would be a relatively straightforward story of, like, just get the relics together. But it's like, oh, yeah, no. Three of the four relics are now completely broken. It's like... I mean, it's a dream. They could probably recompose themselves. <laughs> but it's like, right now, we are yeah. at the lowest point. You know, you gotta got break all the easily. seals before you reform them. You know? Yeah. It, that's another Wheel yeah, of Time reference. <laughs> so... I, I, Okay, let's talk about this. Are, do you think that this is just a ripoff of Wheel no. of Time? <laughs> you know how okay. everything is a JoJo reference? Well, after you read Wheel okay. of Time, you'll see that everything is actually a Wheel of Time reference. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. I'm going to have to look into that series. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't I, even know what I to will, say. I will say the, the, uh, the Matrix Inception... Uh, inspirations continue. Yeah, it, with this it, one. yeah, it's more of it's more of a Matrix Inception and Attack on Titan than it is a, a Wheel of Time. Even yeah. though I am catching yeah. a lot of imagery, that's uh... <laughs> <laughs> there's an area that we've I don't think we've seen before where they're like in these floating buildings that are like in this white space where it's like a garden on top and then there's just one mirrored above it. Oh, it's an interesting new imagery that I don't think we've seen before. Hmm. Yeah, it's a weird, like, like layers uh, of, like, gardens. You can tell that they're all, like, layered gardens. They're upside down and upside up. Yeah. Like, I, like Hollow Knight. I like Knight. Place. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, the dream is getting all kind of crazy. Um, I, like, this is, I don't know how much there is to talk about, because it's just, like, this is the tits go up episode. Yeah. The relic is destroyed. Everyone is now separated. Uh, Ruby is infected and now inside of a dream inside a dream. <laughs> the tiny Weisses are concerned. Uh, that makes me sad. I, I, they, I, I want to see them smiling and happy, not sad and, and worried about Ruby. I want the tiny Weisses to be that the one That one is smiling. Ruby. Like the one the one that's like got her legs up. <laughs> it's, 16, it's 1640. She's like laying, watching Pura braid the hair. And she's she's like got this like big old like smile. All the Weisses that are sitting up on that bench look happy. All, all the Weisses that are standing look sad. And all the Weisses that are sitting look exhausted. That's, is that symbolism? The, the three stages of... Uh, <laughs> Smiling, sad, exhausted. It sounds like the three stages of Weiss, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm mostly referring to like when Ruby starts to go under from her infection and they start to concern about her. Mm -hmm. mm. What the fuck is the deal with the Pyrrha in this world? I, I don't know. She has gotten jack know. shit and John just keeps saving her because he's a weird white knight <laughs> complex about it. Yeah, it's, it's weird like, because like, this is it, like Pyrrha's alive. Like, it, yeah. if this was, like, Pura had, you know, if this was post Pura's death, and then, uh, like, Jean is like, oh, it's a Pura, I'm gonna save her. That would make sense. But yeah. this is just, yeah. like, Wait. hot chick must protect. Well, he's just like, oh, wow, Weiss is in Pura's body? I'm suddenly way more attracted to Pura now. <laughs> Like, uh, so yeah, why why is he trying to bother saving her? What's the, I mean? Of course he's trying to save her and the sillies and everyone that was in that 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 cage. But like, 
what mechanically is the benefit for them, does he think, of that? Uh, and I... also, why the fuck does the sword repel it? I know they said some bullshit about him being infected with the nightmare before, but, like, I, I, I don't know... Why, like, the sword, I guess, is a part of him, technically speaking, and it repels them? I That's weird. That's weird. Why wouldn't he be repelling them the entire time anyway? John is repelling. <laughs> I mean, true. Although, now that Ruby's infected, we I now see kind of a route forward with this story. Because, um, like, the, the, you know, my big fear was uh, <laughs> suggesting, oh, true love's kiss will wake the princess, and then, like, that doesn't work. Or, or, or like, John will be the one to kiss Weiss and wake her up, and he'll become the main protagonist hero of this story. I was really afraid of that. Now, yeah. we have Ruby infected, and I'm like, okay, she'll gain, she'll overpower the infection in herself somehow, or someone will save her, and she'll have the same immunity as John, and so she can finally take on Weiss and her nightmare manifestation. I think that's the likeliest route. Uh, and if they really wanted to tease the shippers, then they'd have her kiss Weiss. But, um, I mean... <laughs> After these two episodes, I'm starting to think that literally the only reason John is in here is just for comic relief. Uh, no, he he served a role last episode. I mean, he has served a role. I'm not saying he's been completely useless because he has served a role, but he also does provide some much needed uh, levity is he to, this, to the situation. <laughs> is he what? even comic relief? Like... I mean, he did get it. I don't he know. Like, he, I mean, he's still. I mean, he's still like bumbling around and falling through things. And you know, there's that moment where he's like, "You, I'll, I'll wake you up, Ice Queen." And then the next time we see him, he falls through the portal, lands on his ass. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, that's. I, I mean, it's the intention of humor. Um, sure. I, I don't know how consistent. Like, I, it's not consistent enough that I call it comic relief. He's just sort of like a nah. humorous character to begin with. Okay. I don't know what else to say about this episode. Like, oh, there's, there's symbolism up the wazoo. Yeah, um, like we got like, the apple. We could try and dig into a lot of it. The fact that, like, suddenly the signpost in the cage area now says go on it instead of stop. It's like, but it's all chained up, I guess. So it's trying to repress the urge to go. Like, I, I don't know how much deeper we can dig with this at current yeah, I don't know either. Let's just appreciate Big Mechalus. Big Mechalus, uh, yes. Yeah. Just he did we did not get Big Mechalus versus Yang going oh, no, 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 fighting each other, <laughs> and I'm disappointed. There's still True, time. We, we did get him completely massacring a bunch of Weisses though. Yes. Yeah, which again, I wish was more horrifying. But you know, that's just yeah. me. Um, for what it was, it was pretty. It was a, a pretty. They, they, they blew up like balloons and then popped. It wasn't like, I mean, it was yeah, kind of they... there, but it's like, it, it, it like the the process was horrifying, but the actual resolution to it was kind of biteless. It felt like it's like, oh, they go into air. It's like, I don't know. Look, yeah, there's no yeah. bloods and guts and vital organs everywhere, and I'm disappointed. That's what we. That's what we've <laughs> all been waiting for. Just suddenly yeah. take a hard R. All of a sudden. <laughs> and you know that because Weiss will finally yell the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, God. Yeah, that's what we've all it's been waiting for. It's suddenly a Tarantino film. <laughs> not not, a, no, not it, enough it, it, feet? I was just going to say, no, it becomes a Tarantino film when, we, when everyone suddenly goes barefoot. And we uh, get, like, get Petty in here, snaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we did awesome. have Barefoot Seriously. Penny in Volume 7, right? Or 8. Yeah, we uh, did. Volume yeah. 8. Volume 8, volume yeah. Eight, yeah. And yes, still disappointed. Zvi did not clap. Zvi should be clapping. Like, you have the chance for dream imagery, and she's about to realize it. Why not have Zvi standing on two paws and clapping his other two? Like, it would be adorable and hilarious. Yeah. That's what we need. <laughs> like, is it not real enough for you, Dream World? Yeah, okay, I. but yeah, I'm out of things to say. I don't know what else to say. Yeah. I guess current status quo, Blake and Yang are where Blake is supposed to belong, quote-unquote. Um, Yang, uh, it's like, uh, uh, Weiss, is still like trying to get her entire world under control and seems to have done so. Ruby is in a dream sleep now, inside the dream, and John is trying kind to of be useless. It. Yeah, so status yeah. quo... I, I don't know. It's it's I I can't really predict 
where this is going or how this is gonna go. Like, I mean, I, I obviously things are like it's gonna end with everybody happily ever after because it's Ruby. But well, well, that's what I'm actually like. Yeah. I'm really hoping now they do a hard canon divergence and it goes to like. All of Team Ruby are infected, leaving you on a cliffhanger, going into, like, you know, volume two. It's, like, like completely changes the entire script, and we just get an alternate Ruby story. That would be, that would be cool. I, I'd yeah. be totally down for that. Um, I'd be down for it, Question too. is, is Warner Media down for that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from the sound of it, Warner Media is not even down for, like, any scripted stories at this point. <laughs> uh, Warner Media is not down with media, I think. Yeah, well, the guy from Discovery takes apparently is like a big reality TV guy. I mean, that's why really? Discovery's... Yeah. You don't say. Oh, Christ. Yeah, so, you know. Which doesn't make they, sense, because reality TV is scripted, too. Yeah, th- uh, yeah, I know. Whether he knows that is another story. <laughs> no, that's also never mind the fact that reality TV peaked around, like, 2010. Dude, reality TV peaked in 2000 with, like, cops. Yeah. I, I I was I was allowing for Jersey Shore because they that had a little period where it was popular, but yeah, no reality TV has not been a staple in a long time, and I don't see it making a return, uh, in the way that this guy seems to think. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's so weird that they're taking like existing shows off their platform, and not and just completely erasing yeah. them. Uh, but yeah, you know, media that's not gone out of print. Uh, our books. Yes, our books are out there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Barnes, uh, and, Barnes and Noble has uh, been getting a lot of flack lately for not putting indie authors on their shelves until they hit a certain criteria, which is kind of upsetting. Um, actually, I just went to a book signing that my buddy was doing, uh, and he he did not draw on the crowd he was hoping to, and it was really mm. it, it was it was a tough day. It was a tough day, but um. But 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 it is available on ebook. Physical copies do exist on demand. So I think if you call Barnes and Noble, you you can like order copies. I think is how it works. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, physical like... copies do exist. I have like I, through my uh, di- digital distributor. Uh, it's just getting them onto the shelves that is proving to be a bit of a pain in the ass. But it is an ebook. You can read it on ebook anywhere you go. Get your ebooks. It is available. Yeah, and so. uh, the Artificer, my book. Is available only on Amazon, oh. uh, which I know disappoints some people, but uh, the fact of the matter is, it's just best option for me. At Buy his book. <laughs> hey, we're, Raymond's pimping his book out right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, she's totally talking about The Artificer by Raymond McNeil. Yes. <laughs> I can buy my book, please. Yeah. You can yeah. buy Raymond's book too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I put it everywhere because I, I didn't want to, I want I didn't want to narrow down any avenues. I'm like, however you buy your book, just it's there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but mine is available both in print and digital. Uh, his is available in digital. And, uh, and and on print through demand. And print through demand. Uh, all links in the description down below, uh, mm-hmm. as well as links to all of our Patreons. I don't have a book, shows. but if you want to give me money, you can go to patreon.com slash Batman oh, <laughs> <laughs> Remember that for $1 or more to any of our Patreons, you get access to the Team Frostbite Discord server where me, Fat Man, Tom, more regularly now, and a whole yeah, host... Yeah, I've been making a bit... Although school's starting up in about a week, so we'll see how long that lasts again. But I'll, I'm still around. But a whole host of other uh, members from around this, the Ruby community, including the Sketchy Huntsman, are regularly active and get to have fun times with you. Uh, we just, for Bad Fan Fiction Night, just did a reading of the legendary Dragon Ball Z X and Frank crossover fan fiction. Christ. Uh, it was a joyride. Um, uh, it was it, something. It was it was a blast. Um, terrible, terrible story. But, uh, yes, and uh, for those that don't uh, know it yet, the auditions for the Sketchy Huntsman are currently ongoing. So if you're interested in joining, there is a video on my channel detailing how you can attempt, you can make your audition to join. So, uh, is there anything else we need to cover? I don't think so. All right. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.